Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's RTC TV4 broadcast here on Casting TV. The Lady Comets playing host to the Lady Jets from Anderson Prep. I'm Blair Zimmerman, and uh, we'll be getting underway here in just a couple minutes. Uh, quite the blowout for the JV Comets, uh, beating Anderson Prep JV uh, by 29 points here just a few minutes ago. So we're looking forward to seeing the Varsity Lady Comets get underway. John Harrell does uh, does forecast the Lady Comets winning. Only a one-point spread there. So uh, this should be some exciting basketball this afternoon. And uh, we'll be waiting to see here in just a few minutes. We've got just over a minute and a half until uh, we're scheduled to get started. So why don't you go ahead and grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and join us back here to watch some Lady Comets basketball on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. And we're just about ready to get underway here this afternoon. Our as we have been doing this year, a senior girls basketball player would like to recognize a teacher uh, for an impact they have made on their lives. Today, senior Emily Holt would like to recognize Coach Don Helm. This is what Emily wrote about Coach Helm. Coach Helm has been one of the most influential people in my life. He has shown me kindness and mercy. Throughout the past four years, we have been through ups and downs, but no matter what happens, he is there for me. He taught me that people who genuinely care about you stick around in difficult circumstances. He has done a tremendous amount of things for me, whether it be a small thing like making me smile on a bad day or helping me through the roughest times of my life. Coach Hellman has also done a huge amount of good deeds for this basketball program and for the girls on this team that go unnoticed. He has been one of the most generous and giving hearts. He is and will always be a blessing to any basketball program, and I know, and I know the players would be grateful to have a coach like him a part of their lives. I've had so many unforgettable memories from being a part of this team and knowing him. Like the time he accidentally missed an exit off the highway and the scouting team took a trip to Ohio on game day. But when we told the Texas Roadhouse it was his 55th birthday and he had to sit on the saddle. But above all things, I have seen Coach Hellman become a man of God. I've seen him change his lifestyle and become an even greater man than he already was through the grace of God. And I thank God for putting Coach Hellman in my life. This time, we'll have to have everyone rise, move your hands, and join in as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem.
afternoon and welcome to Caston High School for today's varsity game between the Anderson Prep Academy Lady Jets and your Caston Lady Comets. Let's meet the starting items for the varsity contest. First, for the visiting Lady Jets. All right, and our starting Number lineups Maya for the Jets. Davis. Number 11, Tamaya Davis. Number 22, Chelsea Klepfer. Number 23, Kalia Armstrong. Number 24, Savannah Pruitt. And number 32, Madison Stam. The Jets are coached by Jessica Horniker in her fifth season with the Lady Jets. And now for the Comets, number 12, Delaney Strasser. Number 15, Lane Oliver. Number 20, Number 20 Maddie Smith. Number 24, Number 24, Emily Holt. And number 35, Number 35, Jordan Klingler. Lady Comets coached by Don Helmick in his fourth year with the program. And Jets getting the tip here. Davis at the center ring. She's gonna kick it over to the left, into the paint. And we got a foul early on. Looks like it was on Lane Oliver. Foul on Lane Oliver, her first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. With only 12 seconds gone. Davis now on the right, Strasser all over. Got a three point attempt here, but number 32, Madison Stam, shots off. Put back was good. Lady Jets up by two. Jordan Klingler answering at the other end. Davis bringing it down the court, across the midcourt. Over to Pruitt. Back up to Armstrong at the top of the key. Over to Pruitt again on the left. Back to Davis. Davis at the top of the key, she's gonna break right. Towards the paint, she puts it up, off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Lane Oliver at the post, puts it up, no good. Strasser with that rebound. Jump ball, Comets keep possession. Oliver gonna send it in to Holt, Holt with the shot. And it's good. Lady Comets now up by two. Davis coming across midcourt. She's gonna send it to the right. Stam. And we're gonna have a, call, a foul called on Lane Oliver again. Club for the ball out, sends it into Davis. Davis can't get anywhere, sends it to Stam. Stam off the mark. Lady Comets with the rebound. Smith, coast to coast with it, in for two. Davis breaking quickly back across midcourt, trying to get there before the Comets defense is set up. Couldn't quite make it. Up to Stam, top of the key, back over to Davis on the right. 
Davis cross court to Stam. Holt tried to get in the way of that pass. Couldn't quite get a hold of it. Knocks it out of bound. The Jets will reset. Club friend to Davis. And we'll have a travel called here on the Lady Jets. <clears throat> Jets now putting on a full court press. Oliver going to send it down to Holt, Holt to Klingler. And Klingler in for two. Lady Comets now out to a six point lead. Two and a half minutes gone in the game. Now to Stam. Stam travels. She tries to fake that set. Into Holt. Holt dishes over to Klingler at the post. Jordan loses control of the dribble, sends it out of bounds. <clears throat> Davis now taking her time to get across midcourt. Over to Stam on the right. Pruitt to Davis, still on the left side. Cross court to Stam, no good. Emily Holt getting her hands on that pass. She goes coast to coast with it and puts it in for two. Davis, middle ring, volleyball line. She's gonna send it over to the left side. Pruitt has it now. Back up to Davis. Davis, top of the key. Over to Stam, Stam for three. Off the mark, Comets rebound. Smith to Holt. Hold top of the key down to the left post to Oliver. Oliver's a little short from the basket. Off the bottom of the bank board. Armstrong to Davis at the top of the key. Davis to Stam on the right. Down into the paint. Klepfer. Long two attempt by Armstrong off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Holt into the paint, down to the post to Klingler. Klingler for two, in and out. Anderson with that rebound. Klingler's first miss of the afternoon. Out to Klepfer, or excuse me, Pruitt. Shot's no good. Comets with that rebound. Ah. Klingler gets fouled on that shot attempt. She'll go to the line for two. Foul was on number 32, Madison Stam. Her first, team first. Klingler's first free throw up and in. Second free throw up. It's good. Davis bringing it up the court. Over to Stam. Strasser trying to get a hold of that, knocks it out of bounds. Anderson Prep will reset. Into Davis at the center ring. Over to the left side, shots up. Off the mark for Madison Stam. Lady Comets with that rebound. Holt taking her time getting across midcourt. Over to Strasser on the right. Strasser's gonna dish it down to the right post. Klingler can't quite get a hold of it.
Lady Comets now out to a double digit lead. Davis across midcourt. Over to Stam into the into the right corner to Pruitt. We're gonna have a foul here, I think, on Olivia Boldry. Boldry's first, team third. Strasser nearly getting into that pass to Davis. Stam to Davis at the right elbow. Back up to Pruitt, or excuse me, back up to Stam, and it's good for two. Holt trying to work her way past the pressure. Sends it to Smith. Smith, good catch. And gets fouled on her way to the basket. She'll go to the line for two. <laughs> Fouls on number 22, Chelsea Klepfer. Her first, team second. Shots up, just a little shy. Second shot up. Davis, cross the timeline. Over to Armstrong. Into the corner to Pruitt. Back up to Davis. Davis across the volleyball line. Over to Armstrong. Into the paint to Klepfer. Back out to Stam. Stam to Armstrong. Armstrong from the elbow. No good. Comments with that rebound. And we're going to wrap up. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession oba or possession oba no, possession arrow to the Jets. One forty-four left here in the quarter. Armstrong on the left, back to Davis at the volleyball line, into the corner. Emily, uh, Emily Holt getting involved in that pass, gets fouled on the way to the basket. She hadn't quite transitioned upwards, though. Fouls on number 11, Tamaya Davis, her first. Team third. Aubrey Day again for the Comets. Into Holt. Holt around the outside of the arc. She's going to pull up that jumper from the free throw line. Off the mark. Jump ball on that rebound. It'll go back to the Comets. Holt sending it into Boldry. Boldry getting shut down on that shot attempt. Down to the post to Klingler, and that one's good. Sixty seconds remain here in the first. Well, just over. Castone again with a double-digit lead. Stam for three. On the money that time. Holt has the ball. Inside the arc. Missed pass to Boldry there. Strasser all over it. To Degg, back to Strasser up near the volleyball line. Down to the post to Klingler. Klingler's going to put it in for two more. 33 seconds left to play in the quarter. Over to Stam, cross the court to Armstrong. Stam for three, off the mark. Holt across midcourt, driving into the paint. A little too hard. Hard foul down here as Boldry tries to go up for the rebound. Three. 
Foul was on number 23, Kalia Armstrong, her first, team fourth. Emily Holt giving some rest here. We've got Jasmine Rudelsoll in for the comments. And Strasser's going to hold the ball. And with that, we're going to end the first quarter. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball on Caston TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, right. RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Missed one quick play there. Uh, Emily Holt getting in the way of a pass, taking it down, and uh, missing the layup at the other end. Lady Comets keeping possession. Olivia Boldry getting shut down on that shot attempt. Dag to Rudisol. Rudisol looking for some help into Dag. Back out to hold in the center ring. And just a good move for the Lady Comets to slow the pace of the game now. They're sitting on a nine point lead. And we have a foul down underneath. Looks like it's going to be 22 Chelsea Klepp for her second. That'll be team fifth. Michaela Kins are in for the comments. Down to the post, dig for a long two, nails it. Tamaya Davis quick across midcourt. Can go baseline, gets trapped. Manages to dish it off. Lady Jets moving the ball very well. Three-point attempt by number 24, uh, Savannah Pruitt. Or, yeah, Pruitt off the mark. Lady Comets with the rebound. Down to Kenzer at the post. Shot is short. And it'll go out of bounds off of Klingler. Davis at the volleyball line. Over to Stam. Back to Davis. Davis will dribble in towards the paint. Takes it to the basket. She draws the foul. Foul was on number 21, Michaela Kinzer. Her first. Team fourth. Or fifth. First shot up and off the mark. Second shot up, nothing but net. Davis trying to get in between that inbound. Couldn't quite do it. Knocks it back out. 
Degg looking for some help to get the ball into play. Into Holt. Holt with the fast break along the right. Loses control of it. Tamaya Davis. Coast to coast, and it's in. Cross court pass to Kay. Kinzer at the elbow. Back to Dag. Dag out to Kay. Kay for three. And it's off the mark. We'll have Jordan Klingler over the back. Maddie Smith back in for the Comets. And that was Klingler's second. Davis at the volleyball line. Day getting a steal there. And getting fouled hard by number 24, Savannah Pruitt. That'll be her first. Anderson Prep getting very aggressive now as we go through this second quarter. Dig to Holt. Holt pushes it off to K. K to Kinzer. Kinzer getting bashed down underneath. I think that foul was on number 32, Madison Stam. That'll be her second. Team seventh. Kinzer at the line for two. First shot up. Off the mark. Here, Coach Helmick telling her, reminding her to snap the wrist and bend, wrist and bend her knees. Second shot dropping. Anderson Prep across midcourt. Got Kalia Armstrong bringing the ball down this time. Uh, Going to call Deg for kicking on that one. Ball in deep to Davis. Out to Stam. Stam goes inside, back outside to Davis. She'll drive into the paint and get called for a travel. Holt taking the ball out for the Comets. Again, a lot of press from the uh, Jets. Smith, back to Dag up at the top of the key. Dag to Holt. Lady Comet's gonna have to watch these passes, make sure they're clean. Emma Kay, wide open, drains the three. Davis quickly across midcourt to the volleyball line. Over to Stam on the right. Gonna go out to 24, Pruitt. Pruitt goes baseline, back up to the top to Davis. Davis looking for some help there. Sends it to Armstrong. Armstrong over to Pruitt. Pruitt getting the ball stripped. Lady Comets looking to get the ball across midcourt. Uh, Dig passes back to Holt. Holt takes an elbow from Tamaya Davis. Her second, team eighth. Hold at the line for 1-1. One one. We have Kenzie Mullenkoff coming in for the comments. First shot up. Nothing but net on that one. Really nice backspin. Second shot up, a little short. And into the waiting arms. Oh, 
Emily, coast to coast. Drops that one for two more. Stam back to Davis. Davis taking advantage of the pick. Gonna draw the foul there. Should go to the line for two. Fouls on number 21, Michaela Kenzer, her second. Team seventh. First shot up and off the mark for Davis. <clears throat> Lane Oliver and Ken Kanila Wills in for the Comets and the Jets respectively. Second shot up and good. Molenkoff to K. K down to the post to Oliver. Oliver tries to send to the opposite post to Maddie Smith. Couldn't quite get it there. Kicked out of bounds by the Jets. 3.45 left in the half. Kasten sitting at a 14-point advantage right now. Holt looking for some help. Sends the ball in deep to the center ring. Molenkoff at the volleyball line. Over to Holt. Holt gonna go across the volleyball line, looking for the play. Sends it over to Kay on the right or left. Into the paint to Smith. Smith puts it up. No good. She's gonna draw the foul though on the way back down. Foul is on 32. Madison Stam, her third. Team ninth. Anderson Prep leaving Stam in. First shot up. That one looked good. Second shot up. A little too far. And Smith getting her own rebound. Tried to go back up with it. Got blocked hard. Anderson Prep knocking the ball out of bounds. Kasten will keep it. Ball into Smith. Shots a little too hard. Oliver with the rebound. Put back is good. Anderson now cross midcourt. Tamaya Davis over to uh, Armstrong, back to Davis. To the corner to Stam. Stam going to get fouled by Oliver. That'll be Lane Oliver's third. Team eighth. Stam at the line for one and one. Pruitt coming back in for the Jets. Shots up, rattles in. Second shot up, and it's good. And Anderson calling a 30 second timeout. We're gonna step away from this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies taking back to the floor after that timeout. 
Kasten 28. Anderson Prep 13. 257 left in the half. Lady Jets with four defenders down full court. Oh, getting across midcourt, going into the paint. She'll put it up, and it rolls in. Tamaya Davis looking to answer. Went up, shot was no good. Knocked out of bounds by Emma K. Madison Stam will take the ball out for the Jets. Ball in Davis. Davis gets wrapped up and ball stolen. Holt across midcourt. Kind of a lazy pass to Molenkoff. It'll carry though. And Oliver up for two. Davis coming across center court. Over to Stam. Stam will go into the arc. Puts it in, good for two. Molenkoff, cross midcourt, over to Kay. Back to Molenkoff, in towards the post, up to the top of the key to Holt. And we'll have a travel. Davis setting up her offense. Sends it over to Pruitt. And Pruitt tries to pass it to Davis off the toes of Kenzie Molenkoff. Lane Oliver taking a break. We've got Olivia Bouldery back in. Ball in play to the backcourt to Tamaya Davis. Sends it over to Stam. Madison Stam will drive inside. Dishes the ball off to Cullum, who puts it in for two. Holt oh, quickly across midcourt. Down to the post to Bouldery. Back into the paint to Smith. Smith will put it up. Drops for two. 70 seconds left in the half. Davis at the volleyball line. Davis to Stam. Stam will drive towards the baseline. Tries to send it in towards the paint. Pass is no good. Holt ends up with it. Holt to Smith in the paint. Smith gets fouled on the way to the basket. And the ball gets jammed. Foul was on number 23, Kalia Armstrong, her second. Team 10th. Smith at the line for two. Shooting just 25% from the free throw line today. That'll help the percentage. Second shot up, off the front of the rim. Molenkoff desperately trying to get that rebound. Jump ball will go to Anderson Prep. Ball into Davis, under a minute to play here in the half. Davis heading towards the paint. She lobs up a wild shot. Comet's getting the rebound. And Coach Helmet calling a timeout down here. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. This is the 32nd time Christmas has been hosted in this house. 32 times decorating the tree. Holiday dinners. Memories. All 
protected by their independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Timer reset. Lady Comets with possession. 30.4 seconds left in the half. Boldry into Smith. Smith on the fast break. She's going to pick it up at the top of the key. Over to Kay. Down to the post where Smith will be fouled. She'll go to the line for two. I think that's going to be called on Colum. Foul is, in fact, on Colum. Her first. Team 10th. First shot by Smith is good. Second shot up. That one looks good as well. Lady Comets now with a 20 point lead. Davis over to Stam. Stam will pull up, drops it in for two. Smith across midcourt. Dishes down to Boldry at the post. Shot was no good. And Lady Jets with the rebound at the buzzer. We'll go into the locker room. Uh, Lady Comets 37, Lady Jets 19. Uh, we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors while I try to get some first half stats together. Stay tuned. You're watching Cat Lady Comets basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time homebuyers. And with our premier first-time homebuyer program, 
There's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, first half stats. It looks like the Lady Comets shooting just about... Sorry for that technical difficulty there, folks. <laughs> first half stats. Lady Comets look to be shooting just about 50% across the board. One for two from three-point territory, 13 for 25 inside the arc, and eight for 14 from the free throw line. Uh, went into the locker room with eight fouls total for the first half. Uh, Lane Oliver in the most foul trouble, sitting on three currently. Uh, Lady Jets went into the locker room one for seven from three-point territory. 50% uh, inside the arc, 6 for 12, and shooting 4 for 6 from the free throw line. Uh, they went into the locker room with the 11 fouls. Madison Stam sitting on 3, and a few other ladies sitting with 2. Uh, turnovers, really kind of where the story is. Lady Comets with 12 for the half, and uh, Lady Jets with 21 total. Uh, Lady Comets outscoring the Lady Jets pretty substantially in both quarters, 16-7 uh, to seven at the end of the first. 37-19 uh, to 19, as you see up there on the scoreboard going into halftime. Uh, so Lady Comets scoring 21 points in the second quarter to Anderson's 12 points. So we have just under four minutes until second half action picks up. Go ahead and... Uh, Go refill your drink, get yourself another snack, and be back here in about three and a half minutes as the second half gets underway. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball on Casting TV here on RTC TV4.
At CoAlliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. CoAlliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, once again, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that technical glitch. Apologize about that. Second half action underway here. Emily Holt over to Delaney Strasser. Strasser back to Holt. Holt attempting to send it up to the top of the key. And we're going to be wrapped up and have a jump ball here. Possession arrow goes to Anderson. Ball into Davis at the volleyball line. She's going to kick it out to Madison Stam, who's going to travel. Turn it over to the Lady Comets. Hell out to Smith. Smith back to Hell. Holt. Holt. I knew that didn't sound right. Emily Holt looking for her inbound. Sends in a Strasser. Strasser tries to kick it back down to the post to Klingler. Sends it out of bounds instead. Lady Comets need to slow this down and play this game at their pace or they could very easily give up this 18 point lead that they've got built up. Armstrong tries to send it off, the pass gets intercepted. Maddie Smith goes all the way with it. Davis sends it right to number 32, Madison Stam puts it in for three. Full court press now by the Jets. Smith to Strasser, Strasser to Oliver. Oliver's gonna dribble down to the post and get shut down by number 22, Chelsea Klepfer. And Armstrong will go to the other end and answer that for, with two. All right, Oliver over to Klingler. Klingler almost losing it out of bounds. Back to Smith. Smith will draw the foul. Foul here on number 24, Savannah Pruitt. That'll be her second. Team first in the second half. Much more aggressive Anderson team here in the second half so far. Oliver into Klingler. Looks like uh, Pruitt has another foul here. And that'll be her third, team second. Holt, she'll take the ball out. Sends it in to Klingler. Klingler can't get a hold of it. Oliver manages to save that botched pass. Scoops it over to Smith at the volleyball line. Smith to Strasser. Strasser back to Smith. Smith down to the post. Oliver. Oliver drawing the foul there. I don't know if they're going to call that a uh, shooting foul or not. Foul was on Madison Stam, her fourth. Team third. They did, in fact, call that a shooting foul. Oliver at the line for two. First shot up. Just a little too hard off the back of the rim. The 
Second shot up. And just a little too hard. Lady Jets with that rebound. Down to the post. Back out to da uh, Davis. Davis will go baseline. Sends it top of the key. Gets knocked way into the backcourt. Madison Stam gets a hold of it. Passes it to Pruitt. Pruitt for three off the mark. And we'll have a foul down here. Davis is going to the line for two. Foul was on. Number 24, Emily Holt, her first, team first. First shot up, good. Second shot up, off the back of the rim. Comments for that rebound. Comet's gonna have to watch these passes. And just like that, they didn't. Oh, Emily. Emily Holt, down, driving in towards the paint. Sends it over to Klingler at the post. Klingler in for two. And there's a Comet's timeout. We're gonna step away for this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comet's gonna have to pick up the pace here uh, as the Lady Jets outscoring them so far this quarter. Three minutes gone here. Tamaya Davis across midcourt. Sending it over to the left side. Balls up off the mark by Savannah Pruitt. Delaney Strasser getting the loose ball. Jump ball, possession goes to the Comets. And now Anderson calling a timeout. We'll step away for this word from our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. And welcome back. Lady Comets will take possession after that timeout. Ball into Delaney Strasser. Passes over to Emily Holt. Dishes down to the uh, post to Jordan Klingler. Chelsea Klepfer gets involved with that and sends it out of bounds. Lane Oliver take the ball out for the Lane Co Lady Comets. Reset the offense. Into Jordan or Maddie Smith. Maddie Smith will draw the foul on her shot. Go to the line for two. Foul was on number 32, Madison Stam, her fifth. She'll sit down. Evidently, I am had uh, Stam down for an extra foul. Apologize about that. That is not her fifth. Kenzie Molenkoff back in for the comments. Davis at the volleyball line. Sends it to the right side to Stam. Back to Davis, over to Anderson. 
Anderson to Stam. Stam for a long three, swishes it. I can certainly see why the coaching staff is leaving Stam in. Lady Comet struggling to get across midcourt here. Holt with it now along the uh, right sideline. Into the paint to Maddie Smith, up for two. Davis driving into the paint. We're gonna have a foul called here on Smith, I think. Yes, foul is on Maddie Smith, her first. Team second, third, second. I can read, I promise folks I can read, but numbers are hard. Ball in play deep to Pruitt. Pass intercepted by Delaney Strasser. And we have Maddie Smith going to the basket, drawing the foul, she'll go back to the line for two more. Foul was on number 23, Kalia Armstrong, her third, team fifth. Smith, first shot, up and in. Second shot up, in and out. Klingler with the putback and it's good. Davis at the volleyball line. Passes left to Anderson. Into the paint. Shot up and good by Wills. Strasser across midcourt. Going to the post, goes up with it. Draws the foul. Ah. Foul was on Jordan Klingler. Shot's no good. It was Klingler's third. Team third. Davis, cross midcourt. Over to Pruitt. Pruitt in and then back out to Davis. Davis going to draw the foul. Foul on Monkoff. Yes, foul on Molikov, her first, team fourth. Three oh three left in the quarter. Ball into Davis. Coach is calling a jump ball here. Anderson prep keeping possession. Ball into Anderson, down to the post. Molenkoff swatting the ball away, ref calling it a foul. That'll be her second. Team fifth. Ball in play to Davis. Davis with a long two, off the mark. Comets with that rebound. Comets struggling down here. Oh, <laughs> that was uh, quite the blooper down there as uh, Klingler not able to catch that pass. Foul on number 11, Tamaya Davis, her third, team six. Ball in play to Smith. Back down to the post to Klingler. Klingler not able to connect with that pass. Holt to Molenkoff. Molenkoff for three. Off the back of the rim. Ball out of bounds on the rebound attempt by the Comets. Wills into Davis, Davis to Anderson. Anderson to Pruitt, Pruitt three. 
off the rim and we had a foul called underneath. Foul was on number 14, Kenzie Molenkoff. Her third in fewer than as many minutes. Ball into Wills. We're over to Davis on the left side. Davis from deep behind the left elbow. Klingler with that rebound. Holt loses control of the ball over to Strasser. Down to the post to Klingler. Klingler in for two. Davis to the volleyball line. Comet still with a 19 point lead. Bad pass by Wills. Results in the ball down in the hands of Maddie Smith who will put it in for two more. Davis to Anderson. Anderson into the paint. Pass is no good. Holt has the ball. Holt down to the post to Smith. Smith will put it in. It rattles in and out. And Anderson with that rebound. Prude over to Anderson. Anderson will dribble into the paint. Puts it in for two and draws the foul. Foul was on 35, Jordan Klingler, her fourth. Three subs going in for the Comets. We've got Boldry, Dig, and Rudisol in for the Comets. And one for Anderson. Excuse me, I've been saying Anderson, Armstrong. Anderson prep, that's Armstrong. Wild pass by Molenkoff will turn the ball back over to Anderson. Forty-eight seconds left in the quarter. Eighteen-point ball game currently. Pruitt on the left, back to Davis. Davis will take the three. It's a little short. Comments with that rebound. Deg in double coverage. And sends it out of bounds. Just under 30 seconds left to play in the quarter. Davis over to Wills. Wills to Pruitt. Pruitt to Davis. Davis to Armstrong. Armstrong up for two. Shot was no good. Foul on Arbor Degg, her first, team eighth. Pruitt will get two shots from the free throw line. First shot, no good. Second shot. Up and in. Jets putting on lots of pressure. 16.3 left to play in the quarter. Russell picks up her dribble, passes off to Strasser. Strasser across midcourt to Boldry. Boldry back to Strasser. Strasser for a long two off the mark. And Pruitt with that buzzer beater. Well short. We'll be back for fourth quarter play after this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free. 
or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready to start some fourth quarter action. Lady Comet still with the score advantage, 51 to 34. Uh, that was a rough quarter for the Lady Comets, though. They're going to need to come back into this and play a much cleaner basketball uh, like they were in the first half. Lady Jets outscoring the Lady Comets by one point last quarter. Jordan Klingler and Madison Stam both in foul trouble as we go into the fourth, uh, as well as Molenkoff, Oliver, Davis, Armstrong, and Pruitt not having a lot of leeway. These Lady Comets really have to watch these passes, though. Uh, a lot of turnovers in the last quarter, quarter just off of less than ideal passes. Holt into Boldry. Boldry back to Holt. She'll go to the, she'll try to get to the post off the mark. And Davis answering with two on the other end. And those are the kind of passes I was talking about. Holt getting the rebound though to make up for it. And Emily Holt with an obvious foul down here as Armstrong puts in two, goes to the line for an and one. Holt's second foul there, team ninth. And Armstrong with the and one. Holt across midcourt, down to K. K for three, off the mark. Lady Jets looking for the inbound. Davis with the wide open long two off the mark. And we're gonna have a jump ball down here. Possession stays with Anderson. Three pointer by Armstrong up and in. A young lady showing herself to be quite the shooter. Lady Comets can't leave her open. Boldry back to Strasser. Strasser around the top of the key to Holt. Holt for three, drains it. You know, Comets calling a timeout. We're gonna step away from this word from our sponsors. Stay tuned, you're watching Comets TV, Casting TV on RTC TV4. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just over halfway through this 60-second timeout, Lady Comets uh, turning over 4-1 to one this quarter so far. Uh, just a minute and a half gone. Uh, I'm sure Coach Helmick probably had some uh, words of encouragement for the ladies there in the huddle. Comet's lead now has been whittled down to just 13 points, down from 20 uh, early in the half. Comets are going to have to start playing much cleaner basketball or they can very easily give up the lead that they have. 
Pruitt for three. Off the mark. Strasser missing that rebound. And we'll have a foul down here. Foul on 21, Michaela Kenzer, her third, team 10th. Not the shooter to put at the line for two. Wow, and with that said, Armstrong misses her first free throw of the day. Second shot up. Also a miss. Clean rebound by Pruitt, put back for two. Oh, across midcourt. Dribbles towards the baseline. Sends it to Strasser. Strasser back to Holt. Holt back at the center ring. Resets, drives in towards the paint, down to the post to Boldry, who puts it in for two. Davis quickly across midcourt. Over to Armstrong. Back to Davis. Davis, top of the key. Over to Pruitt. Pruitt for three, wide open, off the mark. Wills with the rebound, put back by Armstrong is good. Foul was on 24, Emily Holt, her third. We've got Smith and Klingler back in for the Comets. as well as Madison Stam for the Jets. Stam and Klingler once again, both with four fouls. Armstrong shot up, off the mark. Lady Comets with that rebound. Holt to the volleyball line. Kicks it out K, K for three, off the mark. Anderson with that rebound. Davis with that drive, foul on Klingler. She will take a seat. Wayne Oliver coming in for Jordan Klingler. Oliver with three fouls herself. First shot up and off the mark for Davis. Shot up off the front of the rim. Anderson with that rebound. Davis putting it back for two. Holt, down to the volleyball line. Into the paint, up and good for two. Davis, under strong opposition, puts it in for two. No fouls called on that. In fact, Davis holding her nose, I, or no, her teeth. She must have taken an elbow to the mouth. Long two-point attempt by Strasser, off the mark. And travel down here as the Comets get the rebound. And that is an Anderson timeout. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation. And we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. 
Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And welcome back. Comets lead down to just nine points. It's a little bit more than half of the quarter remaining. Comets need to start playing smart basketball. They need to finish out this game the way they played their first half. Shot by Stam up and off the mark. Lady Comets with that rebound. Pass over to Strasser. Strasser back to Holt. Holt to the paint, down to the post to uh, Oliver. Shots up and good. Davis at the volleyball line. Comets need to play good defense, clean defense. Davis, two point attempt off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Holt about losing control of that ball. Struggling to get across midcourt. Down to the corner to K. K for three. Foul on number 23, Kalia Armstrong. Her fourth, she will send Emma K to the line for three. First shot up and in. Second shot up, off the back of the rim. Third shot up, nothing but net on that one. Ball into Armstrong. She'll get to the volleyball line. Strasser going out to meet her. Down to the post. And collides with Oliver. Ball goes out of bound. Ball in the hole. Armstrong and Davis providing some pressure. Ball to Strasser on the left, back to Holt. She'll go into the paint at the top of the key, dishes it down to Smith at the post. Smith for two. Davis with the ball now at the top of the key. Over to Stam. Stam for three. Off the mark. Lady Comets rebound. Holt under pressure. We're going to have a collision here. Foul called on number 11, I think, Tamaya Davis. Foul on number 11, Tamaya Davis. Her fourth, team eighth. Delaney Strasser to the line for one and one. Shots up. And can't quite get it. Lady Jets with the rebound. Comets playing a smart extended zone. Going out, putting heavy pressure on. Stam, she's gonna dribble inside. Sends it over to Armstrong. And we've got a wrap up down here, jump ball. Possession arrow keeps it down here on the Jets side. Excuse me, possession arrow goes to the Comets. Oh, 
Oh, cross midcourt. She's going to go all the way with it. Coast to coast, shot's no good. Oliver with the rebound gets the foul on the putback. Foul on number 22, Chelsea Klepfer, her third. Team ninth. Scoreboard has that as Klepfer's fourth. Oliver, first shot off the mark. Oliver 0 for 3 from the free throw line so far today. Second shot up, off the back, and can't quite get that rebound. Stam with three point attempt rattles in and out. Comets with that rebound. And shot attempt there by Hole off the mark. Davis getting fouled by Lane Oliver. It'll be Oliver's fourth. Tamaya Davis with two. First one is up off the front of the rim, no good. And Coach Helmet calling a timeout, trying to ice the shooter. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. A minute 40 left in regulation here tonight. Lady Comets sitting back at a 15-point advantage. Uh, both teams with several ladies in some sort of foul trouble. As a matter of fact, Anderson Prep, uh, four young ladies sitting on four fouls, including Tamaya Davis, who's at the line for her second shot. In and out. Lane Oliver getting that rebound. Holt to Smith. Lady Comets just need to slow this game down at this point. Over to Strasser. Back to uh, Molenkoff. Top of the key to Smith. Smith will go in the paint. And draw the foul off of Savannah Pruitt, her fourth. Maddie Smith will go to the line for two. Shooting just under 50% today. Abby Williamson in for Lane Oliver. Off the front of the rim. Davis driving into the paint. No foul called, no charge called. Out of bounds off of Maddie Smith. Minute nine left. Ball into Tamaya Davis on the right side. She puts up a three off the front of the rim. Holt with that rebound. Emily putting it in for two. Davis to Stam.
Stam will drive in. Gets fouled by Matty Smith, I believe. Smith's second. Team 11th. Stam at the line for two. Three for three so far today. Rudisol, Harness, and Degg in for the Comets. Second shot up and in. Ball into Degg. Degg in serious trouble. Double coverage here. We got a foul called. I don't think it matters who that call that was called on. Somebody's sitting down at this point. Foul called on number 24, Savannah Pruitt. That'll be her fifth. Kanila Will is coming in for the Jets. Aubrey Degg at the line for two. First shot up and in. Second shot, up and in. Ball into Armstrong, Armstrong across centers. 35 seconds left in the game. Over to Stam, Stam for three, drains it. Degg trapped again, over to Rudisol. Rudisol stuck down to the baseline, needing help, over to Degg. And timeout called. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Molenkoff now with the ball out of bounds. At this point, I almost think that somebody going deep in a bullet pass is, hey, the answer that I just came up with. Down to Harness underneath. Williamson for two, and it's good. And Aubrey Day wrapping it up. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with the Jets. 7.8 seconds left to play. Ball into Davis. Davis to Stam. Stam for three. And air balls it. 1.9 seconds. Ball into Aubrey Dagg. And that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Your final score here this afternoon, Casting Comets 70, Anderson Prep Jets 54. And stay tuned. We're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. I'm going to try to get some uh, final stats for you, and hopefully Coach Helmick is going to come up and put a headset on and talk to us. We'll be back after these words on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh. 
You want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. This is the 32nd time Christmas has been hosted in this house. 32 times decorating the tree, holiday dinners, memories, all protected by their independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free Checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I've got your post-game wrap-up for you here today on RTC TV4. Once again, final score here today. Cast and Comets, 70. Anderson Prep Academy Jets, 54. Uh, Lady Comets shooting 33% outside the arc, 2 for 6. Uh, shooting 25 for 37 inside field goal range. And just under 50% at 14 for 30. 30 from the free throw line. The Lady Jets uh, shooting just 5 for 21, uh, right around 24, uh, 25% uh, from three-point territory. Inside the arc, exactly 50%. They hit 15 of 30 attempts. And once again, just under 50% from the free throw line at 10 for 21. Uh, the Jets did outscore the Lady Comets and both quarters of the second half uh, by one point each quarter not able to overcome the uh, 18 point deficit uh, with which they went into the locker room at halftime um, Lady Comets cleaning it up pretty substantially in the second half of the fourth quarter it was uh, something of an ugly situation especially early in the third quarter for the Lady Comets where they racked up a lot of fouls and a lot of turnovers. Um, that's one thing I forgot to count up for you guys was turnovers. Uh, first half, Lady Comets kept it very clean uh, on turnovers, having just 12 turnovers in the f entire first half. Uh, second half, they had nine in the third quarter and 11 in the fourth quarter. Uh, Lady Jets, 21 turnovers total in the first half. Uh, second half had uh, 21 again, 11 in the third, and 10 in the fourth. Uh, valiant effort coming out of the locker room. Uh, some hot streak shooting. Uh, just not quite enough to overcome, once again, that deficit that they took into halftime. Uh, we'll give Coach Helmick just a couple more minutes. We'll see if he'll come up to us. Uh, and give us a post-game breakdown from the coach's perspective here. Uh, a lot to celebrate. This is the Lady Comet's first win of the season. Uh, 
It's got to be good to finally break a goose egg. And again, a lot to celebrate. There's a lot to still work on. Uh, once again, we did have Jordan Klingler foul out uh, for the Comets. We had Savannah Pruitt foul out uh, for the Jets. Lane Oliver real close sitting on four fouls, as well as Tamaya Davis, Chelsea Klepfer, uh, Kalia, Kalia Armstrong, and Madison Stam of the Jets. Fairly exciting game, a lot of action, especially in the second half. Uh, once again, hoping for Coach Helmick to come up and uh, just talk to us. Uh, in the meanwhile, we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, give you some promotional consideration that's paid, and paid for by the following. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Well, thank you for sticking around, ladies and gentlemen. It looks as though Coach Helmick is not going to be able to uh, join us today. So once again, final score, Caston 70, Anderson Prep 54. We thank you for joining us, uh, and we'll see you again after the new year here on Caston TV on RTC TV4.